everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. I sell all of the products that I share with you uh, in my online store. So if you are interested, please uh, pop on over to my blog, www.stampinwithmarcy.com. Today I am sharing a spring home decor item that uses the Fabled Friends uh, stamp set and the large letters framelits dies. So this is, hi Anne-Marie, how are you? This is what I created using the adorable little bunny from the uh, Fabled Friends and then you can see my letters, I have die cut them in uh, soft sea foam and whisper white and then slightly offset them and then i used the flower punch from the biddy blooms here the biddy blooms punch set that is right now on back order um, but it will be available uh soon so i'm just bringing up on my ipad turning down you're just seeing my hands today. I have gone back to the uh, gym, back to my personal trainer, and so I had my workout this morning, and oh my goodness, did she kick my butt. And uh, then after my live, I have a massage, so I wasn't going to get all dolled up after my workout and then turn around and go and lay on a massage table. Thank you so much for sharing, Anne-Marie. I truly do appreciate that. So say hello when you pop on. Um, let me know where you're from. And uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing, that would be fabulous. And my iPad, again, I don't know what's going on. It does not want to bring it up. So let's get started here. Um, with creating this. So with the uh, textured embossing folders, this one here is six by six. And the frame that I have used is a five by seven. So I'm going to show you how to um, take your frame, your uh, embossing folder and get it so that you can create something just a little bit larger. So I am using a piece of the Whisper White cardstock here. And I'm going to off camera, I've got my Stampin' um, spritzer here. It's just filled with tap water. I'm going to give it a light mist. It just softens the fibers. You can see not too much uh, water just a little bit. I know some people say it doesn't matter But I personally find that it does um, Help so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my card stock I'm going to place it Straight I'm laying this down on my grid paper so that I know that it is straight then I'm going to take my card stock and I'm going to use the grid lines behind and I'm going to make sure it's straight, close it. It's hard to do this on camera here and not take a second here to realign after I jiggled it. Okay, that looks straight to me. So close it and you can see I've got some hanging out the bottom. So now I'm going to bring in my Big Shot, okay, and I am going to, I just have, because this is the dynamic embossing folder, you only need the one, the platform, you don't need your um, embossing, your clear embossing on the bottom. So I'm going to place this so that the bottom end is just you can see here the bottom end is hanging off so that way oh now look at what i've just done better realign that so that way you don't have any pressure 
going um, on that bottom section to cause any kind of dents or anything. Okay, so get this back on here, hanging it off the end, putting my clear plate over top, and I'm going to crank it through. Just like that. Okay, now you can see where it has embossed here and then here it is not. So I'm now going to flip this around and line it back up. And because of this pattern, um, you're not going to have to worry too awful much about lining the patterns up. I did one in the uh, winter that used the tin tile. So that was a little bit more tricky to line that up. Okay, fold this over. And have that a little bit hanging off. Now you are going to, generally speaking, get a tiny bit of a pressure where they overlap, but not too awful much. Straighten that up again. Okay, crank that through. All right this out of the way, right over there, and you can see there is just a slight line, but that is okay with me. It's not too awful obvious, I don't think. It's very subtle. Let me show you. This is the one I did at in the winter, and I had cased this from France Martin. I had seen uh, that she had done one of these and I thought it was fabulous. So I went ahead and uh, made one for myself. So, but I wanted, I didn't want the tin tile. I wanted something a little softer for spring. So that's why I decided to um, use the Fabled Friends and the um, softer spring colors. Okay, so I am now going to bring in my Stampin' Blends and just quickly color my bunny in. So my bunny's ears, I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. My bunny's nose and ears are pink. So for that, what I did was I um, took my light petal pink Stampin' Blends marker, and I um, just brought a little bit of that pink in the ears, and then that little adorable little bunny nose, just like that. And that's done. So now I'm going to take the brush tip and I'm not really doing much blending in this and I'm just gently so that I don't really go out of the lines too awful much and bring that down and there are no dies for this so this is going to be fussy cut. But as you know, I don't mind fussy cutting. Being careful not to color over the eyes here. So this one here today, the one I did that I have in the frame is using the soft sea foam. So this one here I'm doing for my sister Anne and I'm going to do it in a uh, balmy blue. So I'm just bringing that color close to that little nose so that it just bleeds on in without creating 
a line now today it is bright and sunny here the sun is out and shining which yay thanks Anne Marie um, I'm so tired of the cold gray so the fact that the sun is out here in southwestern Ontario makes me quite happy. Turn this. Now you can leave this bunny just light like that, but I just want to add just a touch of the um, the darker. So I'm bringing in the dark crumb cake and I'm just going to go and add just a few lines where they have them on the um, image itself. There and there. I don't want the bunny's head to have any dark onto it. So now I'm just gonna take and go over that. Just to help blend that out. Avoiding the very outside black line there. And today is my son Damon's birthday. My oldest son is 28 today. My goodness, I can't believe that. So there we go. That is colored in. Now let's color in his jacket. And my son, he, this is the light balmy blue. He is, uh, has to work till seven tonight. So we are gonna get together on the weekend. We are very blessed that our children have always enjoyed spending time with us and doing things. So we have this tradition where on your birthday, the birthday person, gets to choose a restaurant and an activity that we're gonna do together as a family. So we're going to go out on Saturday for dinner and a movie, I believe Damon says he wants to do. So isn't that fabulous that at 28 years old, he still wants to do stuff with mom and dad. You had snow and now you're waiting for rain? Ugh. We had snow and freezing rain uh, the other day. So now I'm going to just pull in some Wink of Stella to make those little buttons just a little glittery because I like glitter. So it's very, very subtle because it's just on those two buttons. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in my snips and I'm going to cut this down to a more manageable size. That to the side. And I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and I'm gonna leave just a little bit of an edge um, around my image. You could go right up against, but I like to leave just that little bit. And then once you're done, you can always come back in and um, fix up any areas where you want to go a little thinner with your lines. Like I will do that once I'm done. I'll do that with the whiskers. So I want to keep these whiskers on here. I don't want to snip them off, but and as you can see, it really does not take that much time 
to go around and fussy cut. And you can see I'm moving my paper so that way you get a nice a nicer cut line. So did you have family day on uh, Monday in uh, Quebec, Anne-Marie? If you did, hi Sue, did you, uh, did you uh, do anything special for family day? We went to the movies. Damon was in um, Colorado uh, with his cousins. His cousin Drew, my older sister's son, uh, lives in Arizona. He is a holistic doctor down there and he is getting married the end of March. So my son Damon is in Drew's wedding party. So he was down there with Drew's brothers, Chad and Drew, uh, Chad and Colin for his uh, bachelor weekend. So he didn't join us um, on Monday for family day. And we went, we went to the movies. No, you didn't have family day. I'm not sure what all provinces have family day. So I'm just coming in now and just cleaning up those whisker lines, just pulling out, you can see just that teeny tiny bit of cardstock, just so that my whiskers are separated there. And then this one here is a little on the fat side, so I'm just gonna snip that. And then right here. Now, some people would just leave that, but I, I just want to get rid of it. There. Because I think that looks just a little tidier to have it A little thinner there. Okay. So now that that is done, I want to show you how I did my letters. So I've already glued these ones here and I have put the um, foam adhesive strips on the back. As you can see, I like my to use quite a bit of the foam adhesive strips. I want to make sure that it's all even and it comes like this. There's two sleeves in the package and what I do is I just pull and snip. So then put one down here and one here just to add that little bit more. And to offset so that it, um, you've got that little bit of shadow, all I do is take my liquid glue and just a few dots. You don't need a ton of glue, just like that. And then I take it and place it over top here and just have it shifted so that it's just slightly. You can have it on either side, it doesn't really matter in my opinion anyway, and there you have it. So that gives that that letter look, the look of more substance. Or you could also die cut a bunch more and layer them all together. So now I'm gonna take my foam adhesive strips and when I pulled that off, it pulled the 
backing off here. So I like to cut it into manageable pieces so that I don't have this really long strip. But you could do whatever works for you. Doesn't want to stay on there. Okay, and then one tiny little piece right in the center, just like that, to keep that center of the H. And my nails are so long, I don't know how these ladies do it with these super long nails. I need to get in for a manicure and get my nails cut back. There, so now what I'm going to do is, take and lay my letters out so that they look fairly centered and even. Okay, so I can see that I've got more at this end, so pull this down just slightly. And that looks pretty good. My ruler is upstairs. Yesterday I had my memory keeping clubs, so I would generally have my ruler right across the bottom so that I'm staying straight but we'll make do without it and just eyeball it. So I'm just peeling the backings off. And celebration is going strong. I just want to let everybody know that the, um, the butterfly elements are sold out and no longer available which I do apologize for but on the other hand that is fabulous that the company that I work for is their products are selling so well they um, they can't really forecast how much they try as best as they can how much we are going to love the new offerings so they do try very very hard to predict what is going to be a top seller and sometimes they just things that they don't think are going to sell as strongly end up being super awesome uh, sellers and they sell out before a um, catalog is done and that is what has happened with the the um, butterfly elements from celebration so let me just yeah that's looking like it's when I'm not right over top, it's hard to tell whether or not it is completely straight. I'm just trying, it, but actually, because of Bunny, this needs to move just a smidge more over, I think. Let's see, because we don't want Bunny to be sitting on top of the M. So just, because I haven't pressed that down. There, I think. You need to be up just a smidge. Okay, and then the E. And I have a garbage can just off, off camera here to get all my bits. And I'm, I'm promise I'm not throwing this on the floor. 
Okay, so now I'll put my E down. Then I'm going to take some glue and I'm just going to put the glue on the O because that is where little bunny is going. There we go. Now I have already, I don't know if you can see that. I have already uh, misted, I spritzed my Petal Pink cardstock with my, uh, that's champagne, it's this one here, my Frost White. As you can see, I'm just about, it's just about empty, I'm going to have to make some more. So to create this, all I do is take a few drops of the Frost White shimmer paint. This was in the holiday catalog and it has carried over. So if you still have your holiday catalog, you'll find the code for that. Um, but this has carried over. So I put it in one of our spritzers and I've marked on it that it is frost white. So I um, put a couple drops in my spritzer with 70% um, alcohol. Shake it up really well and then you get your own um, shimmer paint. So it takes a little bit of time to dry, so that's why I did that ahead of time. But it gives the uh, cardstock a very pretty sparkle. So then I'm gonna take my uh, Bitty Bloom Punch and I'm gonna punch out one, two, and three. Hi Jay, how are you? that back and now I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to curl those petal leaves up and as you can see we are almost done this is a very fast um, and adorable home decor item that you can easily make a lot of them as gifts for family and friends Hi, Creating Kindness Design Team. How are you? What time is it for you over there? So I'm just, you can curl it as much as you want or as little as you want. And then I'll show you in a moment what I next, how I finish that. So then I'm going to take my Artisan, Share What You Love Artisan Design Pearls. And as I've told you before, I find our pearls and rhinestones don't quite stick as well as I think they should. So I always add just a drop of glue to the center of each. There. Then I'm going to take, I'm taking the yellow if I can pick it up here and putting it one because you need a center for your flower okay so then to help have that flower curl a bit more I'm gently taking and squeezing that up because I've already used my bone folder to give that the petals a little bit so that makes it more cup like shaped not quite so flat Just like that I think it looks a little better just by doing that so and gentle is the key you don't want to like totally smush it. Okay, so then I'm going to place them. Just like that. Then take a dot.
sure it's fairly straight there. And one down here. And there you have it. How adorable is that? So super cute. And on those dull winter days as we are uh, desperately waiting for spring to arrive, something like this just adds that touch of spring to your home. I have mine sitting up on the uh, piano up in my dining room. Um, it adds just that little bit of fun um, and whimsical. So I want to show you to tomorrow's blog post. Thank you. Tomorrow's blog post is Damon's birthday card. So this is my son Damon's birthday card um, that I created for him. He's at work, so he won't be watching. So again, I pulled out the um, um, frog stamp set that is part of Celebration. And again, I used the uh, cattails from the uh, best catch or catch of the day framelits. And I also used the uh, grasses from the lakeside framelits. And I used on these, the other ones that I had done previously, I had used the uh, shimmery white cardstock and watercolored them. This time I used the watercolor paper and my Stampin' Blends um, as I wanted to see how the blends would move on that uh, texture of cardstock. And I really like the way they turned out. What I did was, I covered it all in the um, light granny apple green and then I just with the brush tip I just went over it to add lines here and there and then I came back with my light and blended it together and then I pulled out my pardon party decorative par pattern party whatever the masks are my goodness words are hard for me right now <laughs> So anyway, so with the craft um, ink, so to add some um, clouds to the sky. So I thought that was absolutely adorable. And then I've got my little frog on the inside. So I will give that to him on Saturday when we get together for his birthday. So I just wanted to share. So this, all of the details for this will be on my blog tomorrow. So you can read what all the products I used. Um, and all the links will be there as well for purchasing. And this uh, project here, this will be on my blog on Saturday. You can um, go onto my blog, uh, www.stampinwithmarcy.com, and you can um, read about all of the, the measurements, the details, the colors, all of that will be on there on Saturday. So. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you have a fabulous day and I hope that the uh, coming weekend is a great one for you with lots of crafting. Thanks again for stopping by and I will see you next week. Bye for now.